Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? I'm Wilkie and I'm checking to see if this is recording. It is, it totally is. Uh, I'm here with some more Dragalia Lost. Um, so, just to give a quick update on the MIM, my pity rate's now at 7.50%, so my free multi was nothing. So, gonna have to just wait another day before I actually start um, using first of all, the free multi ticket they gave us, and then also some of our worm to see if I can get her. But today's video is not about Mim, it's about the other two units that we got from the Halloween banner, Odetta and Lowane. I got them up to almost everything. I did not unlock their fifth mana circle, so I'm going to quickly address that. This is what uh, Lowane would have had if he got it, which is Force Charge uh, 3, which is fills 25% skill gauge when the user, uh, user uses a Force Strikes and it connects. Only three times per quest, pretty good. But without that, he has skill, uh, skill prep 75%, his sleep resistance is 100%, he has full HP equals defense 20%, max 20%, um, and let's see, and then skill, the, a lot of that other stuff is actually the, the thing, so here's his skills, here we go. You won't trick me, restores HP to all allies, continue healing over the next 15 seconds, and increase the entire team's defense by 8% for 5 seconds, and then there's, here's a treat for you. Restores HP of, to all allies and increases the entire party's max HP by 10% for the remainder of the quest. Once HP buff reaches the limit on an HP recovery effect is granted instead. So, um, for red specifically, it's going to be for healers. You have basically three options. You, in theory, only have two though. If Forgive me if I'm forgetting someone. If I'm forgetting a healer, please tell me. Uh, but one of them is Valentine's Day, what is her name? It is Valentine's Day Hildegard, which is a limited unit, so not a lot of people have her. Um, one is Loane, who is a brand new one, and then there's uh, Veronica, which I don't think I have. Let me check my collection real quick. I don't think I have Veronica. I do have Veronica. There she is. Um, you can see this is what she does. As you can see, like this is her kind of like setup. Oh, I should also bring mention... Um, I keep calling him Low Wayne. I don't think his name is Low Wayne. Uh, I think his name is Lowen, but he also has HP recovery. So he has around four mana circles. I did not unlock the fifth one because I'm not sure if I want to use him. So I'm going to use him real quick and see how he does. Uh, if you remember the last time I did something like this, uh, so I'm not going to be using the Mercury Gaunt. Mercury Gauntlet, by the way, is extremely important, but I'm not really showing off what characters can be used there because it's always a very select like Iasu, Galicleo, I want to say Delphi Delphini, the brand new Blade Bleed guy is really good in there. So not every unit's going to be great for the Mercury Gauntlet late game, so that's why I'm not using it. I am going to be using Dragon Trials in the Imperial Onslaught, which is two things you constantly use. So I'm going to go into, here it is, and then I'll do a quick, uh, do a quick play. Now the first thing I'll say when we go in here, he him having sleep resist isn't the greatest because Mildegard is uh, stunning, so that automatically makes it so you can't really use him on HMS, um, which is the high maelstrom, and so that's very unfortunate. Let's see if we can can I actually get like a team together if possible sometime this year. If I can't, then I'll just make the team myself. But back but back to what I was saying, like um, for this specific. Uh, Dragon, it's all stun based, so a lot of the times the units you want to use against him have to have resistance to sun. Otherwise, you're just not going to be able to do. I'm going to go back, I'm going to leave, and then I'm going to go in here. Not a quick play. I'm going to just do it myself. Do it myself, damn it. I'll use this team. You're going to see him in auto. But the. Actually, no, I'm not going to do auto because I want to show. Uh, it a little slowed down, I guess. Let me turn off auto real quick. So let me... There we go. And I'll put down the speed. Low end, well, what are you doing over here? So let me see if I can show you what I'm talking about. See, look, he gets hit by that, and I think... Yeah, gets stunned. And this is basically something you never want to get done. Now, thankfully, because you're a healer, you want to go back the far away, and then we'll use this. So everyone's defense gets up. This is actually a pretty good um, boss to show off because his specific, um, I'm not going to go Phoenix real quick because it's not a Phoenix. And of course everyone's already killed this because I am too damn strong so he's just dead. But I think you see my point here is that if you get hit by one of those blasts, Lowane goes down. Now you can obviously 
fix that by using Worm Prints. The current Worm Prints I have on him are all focused on healing. So if you, in theory, wanted to use him against him, you could just put a stun resistant one on him and you'll be fine. Look at this. I will say one thing about him. He's an extremely cute boy. Like, look at this precious child smiling all the time. So let's go into um, this right here, the Imperial Onslaught. Now, if I remember correctly, yes, I do want to go to the green one, right? Yes. Um, if I remember correctly, Imperial Onslaught is also stun. I don't remember if it's sleep. If it's not sleep, this is very unfortunate, but um, we'll see. We'll look into, we'll see. First of all, we'll see if we can find a team in here. And then I'll do the same thing I did last time where, really? Is no one playing the Imperial Onslaught? No one? How am I supposed to show off these characters and nobody want to play? Huh? Did anyone think of me when they said, see, here's the, the other one I was talking about. Did no, was no one thinking of me and trying to show off these characters when I said, hey, maybe throw Woki a bone here. Maybe, you know, help him out with co-op. But nope. All right, let's see. We can get this done real quick. The main thing I want to show off is how he does against... It is time to get trick or treating. Small child boy, I'm glad you said. He really doesn't. He really doesn't do much um, attack wise, does he? But that's kind of the point of healers, I guess. Okay, let's see. Oh wait, I wanted to get hit by that. All right, damn it. All right, let me use this real quick. So this now means everyone gets 10% more HP, which is fantastic. Really, it's a fantastic ability. Uh go here. I'm going to try and get hit by an attack to see if I get fallen asleep. Let's go here. Okay. Hit me. Okay, so it is sleep here. So that means that he's actually much better in Imperial Onslaught than he would have been against um, um, High Mildegard. I can't believe I'm forgetting hit that dragon's name. I fought him so many times. Yeah. Alright, let's finish this off. So as you can see here, he helps. Now, obviously, if you have a character at that doesn't have the resistance, you, in theory, don't have to worry about it if you're very good. So if you're fantastic at this game and you can be like, I'm not going to take any damage, um, then congratulations. Like, you're fantastic at this game. You, won't, you don't take any damage, and that means that when you go against those certain quests, you don't have the problem, really, of... Um, you know, the stat, the stat thing is there is basically a frame of mind where if you do get hit, if you're not at 100% Ultra Instinct at all times, then that kind of helps you out a little bit. So before I switch off to Odetta, I did want to just quickly see Verica and see what is her resistance because I feel like, see, she's stunned. So I feel like for Verica, when you're going against, let me quickly show off HMS because I'm going to keep mentioning it. It is High Dragon Trial. It is right down here. Here it is. Advanced Dragon Trial is this right here. I'm not going to go into it because I would literally lose and die and I don't want to ruin someone's chance. They recently buffed it so I'm really not sure um, if I'm ready for it. I have to get... It's, it's a whole mess. So anyway, that was Dragon Trial and Imperial Onslaught for oh, for Lowen. Lowen. However you want to pronounce it. Uh, and let's go into Odetta. Let's quickly look at her. So here's the main problem with Odetta, which I'll say right off the bat, is that she has the fiercest competition in the world. She has Xander. She has, um, what is her name? I literally have her, and I use her all the time. Ciliara, some, uh, Summer Ciliara, and also Xander, which is the most, she's basically the most unfortunate class for the worst element, really. Um, so let's go into what she does. Here's Envoy at the end. Deals water damage to the enemies in a line and reduces their defense by 5%. We got Wonderful World. Increases the user's and nearby ally strength by 20% for 15 seconds. Now here's something... Oh, I forgot the other um, unit she kind of has um, problems with against. It's this one right here. Uh, it is... No, it's not. I'm an idiot. Oh, ignore this. Ignore this, the entire thing I was about to say. Never mind. Let me go back to her. Uh, where are you? There we are. Let's go back. Okay. Uh, increases the user and nearby eye strength by 20% for 15 seconds. And then you have Dragon Haste. And then the thing that we don't have is buff time percent, which means increase in the buff skills by 20%. 
Primary defense is 10 plus 10%. 10 Increase the defense of the adventurer you are currently controlling by 10% by for 10 seconds. Every time their initial skill displayed at the top of their skill list becomes available for use. After activation, this ability will not activate, activate again for 15 seconds. She has full-on stun resistance. Um, and I believe from there downward is where all her worm prints are. I should show what worm prints I'm using for her. Let me quickly just show it off. It is... Um, Shining Overlord and Resounding Redemption. And then let me quickly show off what I used for Loen. It was Give Me Your Wounded and Pipe Down. Okay. So just like Loen, let's bring in Odetta and let's do the same thing we did with him. I'm not even going to bother to try to see if anyone wants to play with me. I'm just going to go in. Brunhilda. So I'm going to just say right off the bat, um... Okay, so here's the thing that I was going to say. Her second ability is very good because this is actually an ability that people use against the um, Mercury Gauntlet because it means more DPS. If you get more DPS, uh, the what's the best way of trying to put it? Because I don't fully understand it myself. Lerp would be able to better, like, um, say it. I still have to, like, read up on it. So if I get some stuff wrong... Feel free to correct me, and I'll gladly learn from it then. Um, I really hope we don't kill her before it becomes too late. Before it... Can I use one of my skills first, please? Um, but the idea is basically that... Okay, see? I'm showing here that she can be burned. And then let's go here. Her defense is now 10% more. I wanted to take that! Why would you do that? Um, I'm not going to be showing off her very much, am I? Anyway... That actually recharges fairly quickly. So you would kind of, in theory, want to constantly uh, be able to use her for a skill over and over and over again. Or at least be able to charge it constantly. Um, what was I saying? So DPS races. There you go. A lot of stuff ends up becoming DPS races because you want to just be able... Um, dragons are powerful at the forefront, but really the most powerful thing you have is your ability to click. So anything that makes your base click stronger and i say click when it's a tap anything that makes your base tap stronger is better that's also why there's a lot of people that have specific combos um a lot of combos and i don't really know the sword combos i know blades combos because i actually use blade on hms so i'm not sure how their combos kind of go i think it goes one two then four strike something like that let me at least see if i can show you what i mean by a combo see so you go one two and then get something like that like otherwise there's C so I think it goes one two three and then something like that so I'm gonna click this ability so she's stronger and then we can hurry up and kill them I want to see I forget if um, the status ailment for fire okay we'll know right here okay so she's resistant to IO so that's good Imperial onslaught I think she'd be fantastic again Especially with the defense boost. You could probably leave her very easy on auto and she'd be able to beat it no problem. So let's go in here. And then I'll go here. This will let me to... There we go. Let me quickly use this. So this is strength 20% up. Alright. Doing pretty good. Now a lot of this is going to be unfortunate because I have a lot of uh, facilities that makes me very powerful. So I've never had to struggle with um, IOs in a very long time. I'm able to auto them pretty easy, I'd say. So, okay. I say that and then I start almost immediately losing. So she has a good AOE ability, which is good. So when you leave it on auto, she would be able to... I actually think if I did it on auto, she would have been able to kill this way faster. So let me quickly turn that all on. And that, that's kind of Odetta. I think both of them are pretty solid units. The only problem that I have is specifically Odetta has a lot of like mm, competition for her main role. Um, it's mainly Xander. Xander's like so good. He's still good from like day one and Celiara is no slouch herself. That doesn't mean that um, in terms of free to play options she'd be perfectly fine. And then also with the buff percentage being up for as long as it does I think that would also be very helpful. If you're looking for uh, something to help you with DPS. Now, honestly, and this is the part where I should have actually said this in the beginning. I play this game very mm, is casual the right word. 
semi mid casual so i don't really look up what a lot of other people have to feel about it the most i ever look at is uh lerp and anytime he has something to say i kind of look at it but really for someone for your basic ass player i think both of them are very solid i really like lowen i really like odetta the only issue is that I don't think I would ever use Odetta over Celiara, and for Loan, I think I would kind of want to keep him around, because I really like his look. I like his style. Look at this dude. Look at him. Then you got... What's not to like on this? It's okay. To be so okay. Today. So and with that, that's the end of today's showcase. I hope you liked it. Um, I'm trying to do some more showcases to at least say, like... I'm trying to figure out like the best way to do showcases so if you want to give me some feedback what more would you want the main thing that i think will always be a problem with showcasing some units is that a lot of them need to be shown in hms or something like the advanced dragon trials um because that's the end game content and if they're not worth the end game content then it kind of becomes this thing of like should i be building towards them that's why i think at least at 40 mana circles actually you know what I think these are both worth at least 40 mana circle, especially if you're starting out. I think that's the way to go for it. And for long game, I'm going to have to see and wait and see and how the damage calculations and all that stuff kind of works out. So um, that was today's showcase. I hope you liked it. I think both of them are pretty solid, as I said before. Um, I really hope I get them at some point. But anyway, that's today's video. I hope you liked it. Um, if you did, leave a like. If you didn't, that's cool too. Um... Leave a comment, tell me if what you would like to actually hear from something like a showcase, because I know there's, I think, a good amount of people who are brand new, and the biggest problem I have with showcases is not knowing if I'm giving enough knowledge about the game itself, because really, the game is mostly just grinding these things over and over and over again, so... And a select few units are able to be used in stuff like Advanced Dragon Trials and stuff like that, but, you know... Um, leave a comment. Tell me what, what you feel. How you like these units. Do you like Lowen? How do you pronounce Lowen? Do you like Odetta? How do you pronounce Odetta? Am I saying that wrong too? And I've just been completely fucking it up left and right. And there's my first swear of the video, I think. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good day. And until next time, I'm Wokey, and you guys have a good ass day. I don't know how to end videos. Goodbye, everyone.